Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu, I hodl Bitcoin, I travel the world with my family already for five years solely living on crypto and I'm going to do a very short TA video today on Saturday as it is Saturday and I'm going to the playa. Um, let's jump into the charts quickly to give you an overview of what is happening today and maybe you're freaking out, let's get look if I can get you to zoom out. guys we call a uh, face in front of the <coughs> charts we will start with this chart and i will talk you through the other four charts today as well but i will keep it very short guys this is the one hour chart in this one hour chart we are forming this huge triangle in my opinion um, yes we could also look at the chart in the four hour chart it will look the same as long as we are keeping that support down here this line over there the up, 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 i am not freaking out if we break that line yes i believe we will visit the 30k again before we bounce but if we keep the support and keep moving in this beautiful triangle there will be a moment we break out to the top which will be with 50k or to the bottom uh, yes now don't start screaming and like yelling and all that stuff yes all the way to 24k could even be possible but let's wait and always remember when we break out to the top to the bottom like this we could see also first a retest before we break out further. So let that be very clear. Let's jump into the next chart. Oh no, you want to see the four hour chart as well? Of course, DD, you're going too fast. Look in the four hour chart, it looks exactly the same guys we are moving in that pattern we finding the support coming up there if we bounce here go to the top you know we will see what happened but i will keep you up to date on that one let's jump into the next chart. bam this one because we have been talking about this one uh, the last two days yes we could see a bearish cross forming over here when the green line will cross over the red line to the downside that will be a bearish cross if we will be able to uh, close these next candle above this red line which of course is a possibility because if we look at this we are going up like that so maybe yeah the higher lows will be in the end crossing on that uh, 200 day moving average on the day chart eh? then this is the day chart sorry I, I forgot to mention that then we won't then this will be following not like a cross downwards but then it will be coming down and then it will turn up again like that maybe so and then we won't see a bearish crash okay that's enough next chart bam this one this is a weak chart yes you can see we are zooming out slowly from four hour from one hour to four hour to day now to week on the weekly chart those blah 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 blue things you see over there guys oh i'm sweaty it's bloody hot i will put it here in the shadow my laptop is burning burning but these blue lines are the ones i copied from the 2013 bull run that's the pattern from the 2013 bull run when we broke down below that green line the 21 weekly EMA. When we broke down that one in 2013, these candles followed afterwards. So let's see. This was the moment we broke down, almost as big. Yes, the next candle was also almost as big. And let's see if those candles will slowly now crawl above that beautiful 21 EMA or that we crash to zero with Bitcoin, which I don't believe. Uh, but let's see. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam. This one. This is now zooming out a little bit more. This is the monthly chart. Every period in the bull run we had a block that we went sideways every time 2013 2017 2021 again to be very clear the bottom of those boxes is the top of the bull run times 1.5 20k times 1.5 is 30k here the top of the bull run at that time was if you read 1100 times 1.5 is Let's say 17, 1800, somewhere over there, 17, 1900, that was the bottom of that box. So that's every time the top times one and a half is the bottom. So if we would see a bottom, it should be around 30K, the top times one and a half. And then the top of the boxes is times four. So 20K times four is 80K. So that would be the top of the box. Here, 
the top of the box is this thousand times four is 4k and that's the period we go sideways every time again um, in those boxes so i believe that 30k should be the bottom and then we should be curling up again let's jump in the next one the last one bam oh we are going really fast today and um, charles btc this one i already used uh, in the video two or three days ago i'm really sweating it's like bloody hot now yes these are the consolidation phases that we just talked about and you can see here that the cons consolidation phase is becoming less steep we had a slope of 0.94 percent that became 0.39 percent now we have a 0.43 percent so yes you know if we follow the moves that we saw in 2013 17 and 11 then we always have this consolidation phase and we, we keep bouncing from that line and when we bounce from that line so we see in 2017 here at the area of the blue line 2013 in the mid of the area we bounce off and we go up in 2017 in the mid we bounce off and we go up and now we are bouncing again if we bounce off and go up we just did what we always do during those bull runs so that is everything i wanted to share with you today bam yes very short video i but it's saturday i see palm trees i see a sea i want to enjoy that and it's only the last couple of days in mexico for me because we are going to fly back to europe next monday or tuesday i don't even sure one of those days um thanks I came down, I saw that the video was not recorded completely, the end was gone because my laptop was overheating. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to read and respond to your comments. Thanks again for watching and see you later today in the Dutch AMA or tomorrow in the English AMA or maybe just in one of the family videos. See you later and thanks for watching guys. Bye.